In this worked example, we'll be calculating the time day setting on the oscilloscope. And the question reads, a whale produces sound waves of frequency five hertz. The waves are detected by a microphone and displayed on an oscilloscope. What is the time day setting on the oscilloscope? All right, so we can start with some given information. They tell us that the frequency is five hertz. And one of the things about wave physics is that if you know the frequency, you can calculate the time period. And if you know the time period, you can calculate the frequency. So we'll substitute in five Hertz for the frequency and realize that the period of this uh, sound wave is one over five or 0.2 seconds. Okay. So the time period measured in seconds, one fifth or two tenths, right? Two tenths of a second. So that's the time period. You wanna be able to, in an oscilloscope, scope or view the oscillation, right? So where does the wave sort of repeat? It starts here, and we can see that it neatly repeats right at this intersection. So nice and neat there, it's exactly two um, divisions, right? So sometimes these are centimeters, sometimes they're millimeters. Here you can see that it's just division. So each one of these is a division. So we know that here we have one wave per two divisions. If we use just the definition of period, we could say we've got 0.2 seconds per wave, all right? And we're trying to figure out how much time does each one of these divisions represent. The time-based setting is adjustable on an oscilloscope so you can measure a range of different frequencies. And so you could adjust the time-based setting depending on if you're measuring something with a very low frequency or a very high frequency. So if we know that this wave is taking 0.2 seconds to, to propagate, it's 0.2 seconds per wave, and then we cancel it out by saying, well, there's one wave every two divisions, then we multiply this out with say 0.2 seconds per two divisions, waves cancel, and we have 0.2 divided by two is indeed 0.1. So we have 0.1, seconds per division, right? Waves cancels. And that's telling us how much time each division represents. 0.1 milliseconds per division? Well, that's 0.1, but it's not milliseconds. Is 0.1 seconds one millisecond? Is it 10 milliseconds or is it 100 milliseconds? So it's one of these answers, B, C, or D. If we take 0.1 seconds and we multiply it uh, or convert it rather into milliseconds, we say, what's the relationship between milliseconds and seconds? There's 10 to the three or a thousand milliseconds per second. So 0.1 seconds times a thousand milliseconds per second. And we realize that the time-based setting, which, you know, this is the correct answer, 0.1 seconds per division, it just doesn't agree with any of the choices. So we need to convert it into these units. And we realize that 0.1 seconds per division times a thousand milliseconds per second gives us the correct answer. 100 milliseconds per division. So the time-based setting of this oscilloscope is 100 milliseconds per division. This is 100 milliseconds. Here's another 100 milliseconds. And so we have 200 milliseconds, which is the time period of the wave. That would be the other way to think about it over here. We know the time period is 0.2 seconds. So we could just convert this 1,000 milliseconds per second, multiply those two, and we realize that this entire wave has a period of 200 milliseconds. And so each division has to be half of that, right? Because half of the wave has propagated sort of along that much. So there's 100 milliseconds, you know, from there to there, telling us the time-based setting of the oscilloscope. This has been another worked example with Dr. Schleich. We'll see you next time.